Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we'll discuss about the latest coding question from Essential Coding Test. And this question is very very important because you know in Essential Coding Test, you will get minimum one string type question. And today we'll discuss about a string question. Okay. So the name of the question is Operations Binary String. Okay. So before starting the video, make sure you have subscribed to this channel and press the bell icon. So when I will upload a new video, you will get the notification first. Okay, so please watch the whole video and after watching the whole video, if you find this video helpful, then please like the video. Okay, so here you can see this is the question and so I have not write the whole questions. I have I have write some parts of the question and this is the main point and uh, the rest of the question I will explain you in a very simple way. Okay, so here you can see the function accepts. So you have to write a function that accepts a string str as its arguments. The string str consists of binary digits separated with an alphabet as follows. So consists of binary digits. So binary digits means 0 and 1 and separated with an alphabet. And the binary digits are separated with the alphabet A, B and C. So what is A, B and C? A denotes AND operation and B denotes OR operation and C denotes ZOR operation. So you just have to calculate the result of the string scanning from the string left to right. An important point is scanning the string left to right. Okay, so this is the input string and you have to scan it from left to right. So taking one operation at a time and return the same. So you have to return the result. Okay, so this is the question. So before solving the question, you have to know what is AND operation, OR operation and ZOR operation. Okay, so I will explain you in this video. So first we will discuss about the AND operation. What is AND operation? So suppose you are giving two inputs. Okay, suppose you are giving two inputs and the two inputs are true. That is the first input is 1 and the second input is 1. So if these two inputs are 1, then the AND operation will be 1. Okay, so 1 and 1, so 1 and 1 equals to 1. Okay, and for rest of the inputs like 1, 0 or 0, 1 or 0, 0, 0, 1 or 0, 0, the output will be 0. Because you can see that 1 into 0, this is 0, 0 into 1, 0, 0 into 0, 0. So for rest of the inputs, the output will be 0. Okay. So only for this input, the output will be 1. Now we will see the OR operation. Okay, for OR operation, if you are given two inputs like 0, 0 or 0, 1 or 1, 0 or 1, 1, what will be the output? Suppose you are giving 0 or 1, 0 or 1. Okay, so what will be the result? The result will be 1 because if there are at least one, one present. So if there are at least one input is true, the output will be true. That is the output will be one. Okay. And if there are no inputs is true or no inputs is one, then the output will be zero. Okay. And for rest of the inputs like one, 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 zero, zero, one. So for all of these inputs, the output will be one. Okay, so this is the main thing. So now, what is ZOR operation? So if you are giving two inputs and it could be 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 or 0, 0. Okay, so if the two inputs are equal, that is you are giving two inputs A and V. Okay, so if A and B are equal, then it will return 0. Otherwise, it will return 1. So if you are giving two inputs, it could be 0, 0 or 1, 1. Okay, so here you can see 0, 0, these two are equal. So these two inputs are equal. So it will return 0 and 1, 1, these two inputs are equal and this will also return 0. And for rest of the inputs like 1, 0 or 0, 1, it will return 1. Okay, so this is the main thing. So if you know this, then this problem is nothing to you. Now our input is given as like this 
on C, 0 C, on C, on A, 0 V and on and our output is on. So how the output becomes on? So let's discuss about it. So in the question, you can see here scanning the string from left to right. So we will scan from, from this left to right. Okay. So first you can see 1 C 0. So C means C means ZOR. So 1 ZOR 0. So 1 and 0 these are different. So the output will be 1. Okay. So for this 1 C 0 the output will be. Okay. Let's write here for this 1 C 0 the output will be 1. Okay. So the output will be 1 here. So now this becomes 1. 1 C 0 becomes 1. And our rest of the inputs are this. Okay. So now we will calculate 1 C 1. So C means ZOR here and 1 C 1. So 1 and 1 are equal. So if two inputs are equal then it will return 0. So it will return us 0. 0 here. Okay. So now our input is 0 C 1. So C means ZOR operation and 0 and 1 are different inputs. So if these two are different, then the output will be 1. Okay, so for these inputs, the output will be 1 here. So now you can see 1 A 0. So A means AND operation and the inputs are 1 and 0. So here you can see 1 and 0 for the AND operation. For these two inputs, the output will be 0. Okay, so for 1 A 0, alright, the output is 0. So now our input is 0 V1. So B denotes here OR operation and our input is 0 and 1. And for OR operation, if the input is 0 and 1, the output will be 1. Okay. So our final output will be 1. And this is the output 1. So hope you understand the question. So this is the whole question. And I have tried to explain you in a very simple way. So first we will do the AND operation, ZOR operation and OR operation. Okay, so for that we will write the code for the AND operation, ZOR operation and OR operation. Okay, so first of all write the basic format of the C++. So right here has include IOStream using namespace standard. Right here int main okay so first what we'll do here we'll do the and operation or operation and zor operation okay so right here character and and inside this and function we'll take two inputs here okay so let's write here character a and character v so this is the two inputs for and operation okay so here you can see for and if a equals to 1 and v equals to 1 only then it will return 1 otherwise it will return 0 so we'll write this here so if a equals to 1 and b equals to 1 so right here equals to equals to and why we have write this inside this single condition because this is a character so that's why we have write it inside this single condition so if a equals to 1 and v equals to 1 then we'll return 1 so the return type is also character so that's why we have write here character so if a equals to 1 and b equals to 1 then we'll return 1 else so else we'll return 0 Okay, so this is our AND operation. So in this way, we'll do rest of the operation like OR operation and ZOR operation. So let's write the OR operation here. So for that, write here character and then the name of the function is OR and then character A and then character V. Okay, so here you can see in our OR operation, if a equals to 0 and b equals to 0 only then the output is 0 and for the rest of the inputs the output is 1 so we will write it using if else condition so if a equals to 0 and b equals to 0 
so if a equals to 0 and v equals to 0 then we will return 0 and so return 0 else we will return 1 return 1 okay so this is the or operation and next we will do the zor operation so for that right here character the name of the function is suppose zor and here write character a character v okay so instead this we will write this condition if the inputs are equal so a and v are equal for here and a and b are equal for here so if the inputs are equal then the output is 0 otherwise the output is 1 okay for that right here if a equals to v so if a equals to v then the output is 0 so return 0 else we will return 1 okay so this is the zor operation so see friends we have write the 50 percent of the code by writing these three operation okay so now main thing is to write the main function here and inside this main function write a string so string suppose str and take inputs from the user so seeing str okay and then a write your function so suppose the name of the function is operations binary string so right here operation binary string okay and inside this pass the string str so before this main function write this same function again and the return type will be integer so int operation binary string and inside this write the string so string suppose the name of the string is s okay let's delete this space and this space also so inside this function first we'll check if the string if the input string is zero length or not if the length of the string is zero then we'll return simply minus one so this is the base condition so if s dot length so if s dot length is zero so if s dot length is zero we'll return minus one so return minus one now we'll write a character array so the name of the array is a result one and we'll initialize okay declare i here in i equals to one okay now write a for loop and for i equals to one i less than s dot length i equals to i plus two so inside this for loop we'll write another character array suppose operation okay and this will store s of i next we will write character array suppose result 2 and this will store s of i plus 1 so see friends here we have write a for loop and so it starts from 1 but we have increased here i equals to i plus 2. so why we have to do so because here in the input you can see here this is the zero position so one is in the zero position next this is the name of the operation and its position is one so we can go to the next operation by adding this two so if this is position one so if we add this position one by two then that is one plus two that is three so we can go to this operation so after adding two we can also go to this operation and after adding two we can also go to this operation so that's why we have right here i plus 2 okay friends so here we operation and this is a result 2 okay this will store the s of i and a result will store the s of i plus 1 so if s of i that means s of 1 that means this will store the operation that is a b or c which operation it is and the result 2 will store the next value that is the result 2 will store this value so here you can see this value so this is the first input and this is the second input okay so result 2 will store the second input and the result 1 will store the first input okay so now we'll check the condition using just a simple if else condition so first we'll check if the operation is a or b or c so if operation equals to a 
if the operation is a that is if it is a and operation then we will store the result into this result one okay and we will call the this and operation this and function and we will call this and function you can see we will call this and function and we will store the result into the result one so for that right here and so this is the name of the function and here first the two values so result one so we'll call this end function and here we'll pass result one and result two okay so after doing this operation we'll store it into result one why we'll store it into result one because you can see here after doing this whole operation the result will be stored in result one and and the result will be the result one and then this is the operation and then this one will be the result two okay so that's why we will store the result into result one similarly we will do it for the operation b so for that right here else if if the operation equals to v then we will store the result into result one and we will call the all function and we will pass result one and result two okay Okay. Else, else there is uh, only one condition left which is C. If operation becomes C, then it will be a ZOR condition. Okay. So result 1 equals to ZOR of result 1 or result 2. Okay. So finally, go outside of this for loop. And now we'll check if result 1 is 1 or 0. So after the binary operations, you can get the result as 1 or 0. So there is no any other option. So we'll check if result 1 equals to 1. So if this is equals to 1, then we'll return 1, else we'll return a 0. Okay. So we are returning this. So right here, return. Okay. So this is the full code and hope you understand this. So let's run it. So there is error in the line number 29 that is expected. Okay. So go to line number 29. Okay. We have given extra semicolon here. Okay. So let's run it again. Okay, it's compiled successfully. So, orders are input like 1C, 0C, 1C, 1A, 0B1. So, right here 1C, 0C, 1C, 1A, 0B1. Okay, so press enter. So, no output is showing. Okay, we have not to write it C out here. Okay, so let's write C out here. In small letter okay so let's run it again and give the same input 1c 0c 1c 1a and 0v1 okay so press enter so our output is 1 so here you can see our expected output was 1 so this is perfect output so hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends and if you have any questions or queries then please comment below. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then take care.